Hi guys, I'm just going to quickly show you uh, how to download and install the preset racks for um, the Arturia Mini V. I'm doing another one um, about Silent. This is so that you can um, browse, load and control all of the factory presets from within Push. So first, uh, after you have gone to uh, Mableton and downloaded the racks, you will be sent this link and you click on the zip uh, icon there and download the file um, and then it will appear um, in your downloads uh, so after you've extracted it it will be there, Mini V uh, and you'll see your downloads file there uh, the Mini V with all its containing um, folders with all the different categories in them uh, next thing you want to do is search for your Ableton Live 9 user library folder, which is pretty straightforward. Just go to uh, Spotlight, put in user library, uh, and you'll see it there. Um, so you want to uh, click on that. Okay, so once you have clicked on user library that you found in Spotlight, um, you uh, go user library presets uh, and then instruments and then instrument rack you'll see I've already got the mini V folder in there but what you would need to do then is take the mini V uh, folder that you've got in your downloads and just drag it across to here okay once you've done that you go to live and you go to the same place through live so user library presets um, instruments, instrument rack, and you'll see the Mini V has appeared there. Uh, what I suggest you do then is select the Mini V and just drag it over to places and drop. And you'll see I've done that already so that it's there um, in my places. Once you've done that, you can go to push and you'll see um, it says places, Mini V, and then the uh, various Mini V preset categories, which on the actual Mini V um, are pretty confusing, but once you um, use the folders here on Push, it's actually a lot better. You can discover some presets you've forgotten all about. Uh, so, if we go to um, the very first one that comes up under ARP, which is a CD a Comb, you can select that, load it up. Okay, so you've loaded it up and it's come up. Um, in live, you've just loaded it from push, and you can see it's actually come up on a rack there. Um, and if you took a look down and click this arrow here, um, you'd see also that all of its parameters for that particular preset have been mapped for you. So now I've selected it on push, I want to go to device and then hit in a couple of times. And then you'll see all the banks. Um, there should be six banks for each preset. Each of them has eight um, parameters that you can use pushes knobs to um, tweak. Okay, so just got a very simple, uh, pretty nasty sounding um, MIDI line playing there just to show you now. If I go down, uh, I've got bank one, and I can take tune. Tweak that from within. Push. And you can see that um, all of the uh, Mini V's categories are there. Got ARPs there. And all the other ones that come uh, the factory presets, version 1 and version 2. All the leads here. So those are all available to scroll through, push, and load up uh, with their parameters already mapped and configured. Now, you'll notice down here that the macros, and on push, by the way, that the macros just say nothing underneath them. Um, there are eight macros, and they've been left intentionally blank. And the idea is that depending on your project, 
uh, that you're doing or the preset, you might choose a different eight of all these parameters to be the ones that you would use most and that you would therefore put on the front screen in push uh, rather than having to scroll through the banks to find them. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. So this is the first screen we had. Um, and you see I pressed in twice to get to all the banks. So I press out twice to get back to the first device screen and all the macros say zero. So I want my favorite eight of all the parameters have been mapped on the front screen uh, probably for this particular project. So I go back here to uh, the rack and just hit configure on the right there. So it goes green. Let's choose a couple of random ones. Just click here and map to macro one. I'll say these are all my favorites for this particular preset. Map this one to macro two. And I'll map this one to macro three, for example. And then you'll see they'll all turn up here. So let's hit configure again. Let's go down to push, and you'll see that there they are um, on the front screen. So when I load up this preset maybe, or this particular project using this preset, this version of the preset will have uh, those ones, and not only in the banks, but also on the front screen, They're the, the eight that I want to use uh, the most. So if you do map your um, eight macros, some of the parameters to your front eight macros, you then want to hit this um, save button there um, and rename this preset uh, CD comb version 1 or whatever you want to call it. And that will uh, then show up in your um, folder next to um, the original. That's pretty much it. So you just need to uh, go to Mableton. You can do this yourself, but if you want to save uh, a lot of time, um, go to Mableton and get um, the 400 or more than 400 racks there, all the parameters all set up for you.